The internet is a very valuable resource with vast capabilities of communication. However, with so much access, there also comes access to dangerous hackers. Cyber crimes are most commonly known as crimes committed through internet or very known computer networks and software. There are various forms of cyber crimes and different kinds of cyber criminals. The important thing here is that we actually take action to keep ourselves and our personal information safe. Beware of cyber criminals. These are the major types of cyber crimes we will be talking about. Hacking, identity theft, cyber stalking, malicious software, and child soliciting abuse. Hacking is when a person's computer is broken into so that personal or sensitive information can be accessed. The criminal uses software to enter a person's computer remotely without the user's knowledge. Identity theft has become a major issue with more people using the internet for cash transactions and banking services. In this cybercrime, a criminal accesses data about a person's bank account, credit cards, and their social security to siphon money or buy things under their name. Cyberstalking is a crime in which the attacker harasses a victim using electronic communication such as email or Facebook without their consent. Malicious software is an umbrella term encompassing various types of malware programs such as adware, viruses, trojans, spyware, and many other types of harmful software aimed at corrupting, destroying, or denying access to their files or data and spying without permission. Child soliciting and abuse is when a criminal solicits minors via chat rooms for the purpose of child pornography. The FBI has been spending a lot of time monitoring chat rooms in hopes of reducing these occurrences. So who commits cybercrime? Well, cybercriminals range from small groups of individuals to single individuals to even large organized crime groups. Now, in order to understand why cybercriminals commit such a crime, we have to understand who they are on the inside. Cybercriminals have at least some measure of technical knowledge. They disregard the law or some of the laws. They like risky situations and enjoy manipulating others. And, of course, they have strong emotions for one particular thing or person. This leads into why these people commit these crimes. One, the obvious one, is money. Everyone enjoys money, but some are just willing to go to extremes for it. A cyber criminal might hack into a company's database and steal client credit card information. They might even hack into a person's bank account and steal all of their money. Then, there's emotional motives. An emotional cyber criminal might act out in anger against their boss who fired them or against an ex who broke their heart by exposing company information or by exposing their ex's personal information and personal files. These motives also apply to political slash religious motives. And then there are those criminals who commit cyber crimes just for the kicks. Some cyber criminals simply enjoy hacking into networks to share movies slash music or just defacing websites. You name it, these often young cyber criminals are in it for the laughs. And they often have no malicious intent. Either way, it is important to protect yourself from these cyber criminals. For more information on how to protect yourself against these complex people, visit fbi.gov slash scams dash safety slash computer underscore protect. Cybercrime Prevention The most basic form to prevent a cybercrime for your computer is applying antivirus software to protect your computer. You can review your banking accounts and credit card statements regularly. That way you are up to date with your banking information. You can choose strong passwords to keep your personal items safe. A very important situation among every person is social networking profiles such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. Make sure to put your profile set to private so only people you know can view your information. Avoid using your mobile device for securing your personal identification such as banking statements, password, PIN number, or even address. Something that all you should be aware of is using public Wi-Fi hotspots. Since these hotspots are away from being secured, Avoid using financial or personal transactions while using public Wi-Fi. When do you know you have been targeted? 
you will know you have been hacked just by immediate, not being able to log in into your banking account or social networks. The simplest way is not by not being able to log in into your personal information. Ignoring any notification from your computer could be a problem and you may not know what is happening. This could be a sign that you could be at risk.